फ्रिक्शन कोन वॉट इज फ्रिक्शन कोन इन द डायग्राम ए बॉडी इज प्लेस्ड ऑन ए राफ सर्फेस दिस इज द बॉडी विच इज प्लेस्ड ऑन ए राफ सर्फेस एंड इट्स वेट एम जी एक्स वार्टिकली डाउनवर्ड्स इट्स वेट एम जी एक्स वार्टिकली डाउनवर्ड्स from the lowest point of the body but actually this weight should be acting from center of gravity for convenience the weight mg acts from the lowest point of the body normal reaction on the body by the rough surface applied by the rough surface is r capital r acts from the lowest point in vertically upward direction though it should be acting from the center of gravity now an external force fx is acted an external force fx is acted fx is acted uh, on the body and it will appear to come from its center of gravity and limiting friction the body is at the verge of moving over the surface of the body and limiting friction fl will be acting on the surface in contact and in the opposite direction of applied force fx fl is the limiting friction and taking fl as uh, a side we can draw a rectangle this is the diagonal of rectangle and this diagonal is the resultant n n is the resultant force of the limiting friction fl and normal reaction r we can draw this type of rectangle other sides are imaginary so they are denoted by dotted straight line n is the resultant of fl and r which is the diagonal n is the resultant which is the diagonal of that rectangle we can extend uh, the slant in the other side this is the radius of uh, the circular base of the cone and we can draw the circular cross section of an inverted an inverted right circular right circular cone now n is the slant of this cone and n is also the resultant force o is the point from which the weight mg acts and uh, r acts along oy the resultant n acts along oz and limiting friction fl acts along ox r is the height also capital r is the height of the cone also that means r is equal to o uh, o y and we get friction cone m is the mass of the body and the body is at the verge of moving over the rough surface of the other body is at the is at the verge of moving over the surface of the other and this is the friction cone and friction cone is a is an inverted right circular cone having radius the limiting friction fl and height normal reaction friction cone is defined as is defined as an inverted is defined as an inverted right circular cone right circular cone which which is assumed provided the body provided a body provided a body is at the verge of moving is at the verge of moving over the surface of other over the rough surface of other over the rough surface of other this is the number 1 uh, characteristics body should be at the verge of moving number 2 the resultant in of the limiting friction fl 
as the body is at the verge of moving limiting friction should be acting and we should consider the resultant in of the limiting friction fl and normal reaction r normal reaction r lies on the surface of the inverted right circular cone lies on the surface of the friction cone number 3 and if we draw the diagram again, the body is placed on a rough surface. R is the normal reaction and this slant is the result in N. We can draw two slants. N and N is the result in of FL and R. FL is the radius of this uh, friction cone and we get the circular base. And this is this cone is known as friction cone. And it is assumed at the lowest point of the body for, for convenience. The resultant in lies on the surface of the cone and this resultant in, this resultant force in becomes the slant of the friction cone. Number three. Condition is what? The limiting friction will be the radius of the circular cross section of the cone becomes the radius of the circular base of the cone or circular cross section of the cone. Number four, the normal reaction are on the body applied by the rough surface which acts in vertically upward direction normal reaction r which acts in vertically upward direction will be the height of the friction cone and and the angle of friction and the angle of friction theta l will be half the aperture of the cone. So angle subtended by angle subtended by the result in N. So here this radius is uh, friction uh, fr limiting friction. N is the slant of the friction cone. Normal reaction R is the height of the friction cone. And if we denote the angle of friction, these two angles are angle of friction theta L and theta L. Total aperture is 2 theta L. Hence, angle of friction will be half the aperture of the friction cone. This angle is uh, theta L. This angle is theta L. Angle subtended by the result in N with the normal reaction R is theta L. Angle of friction theta L will be half the aperture of the cone. And we can draw the diagram again. Uh, here we can denote uh, the different parts of friction for friction cone. For friction cone, slant, slant of the friction cone will be in means. Uh, resultant of fl and uh, normal reaction resultant of fl and normal reaction height of the friction cone is capital r which is normal reaction on the body applied by the rough surface radius of the friction cone is fl means limiting friction FL is the radius of the friction cone. Radius of the circular cross section of friction cone is FL or limiting friction. An aperture of the friction cone is 2 theta L, where theta L is the angle of friction. Theta, uh, this angle is aperture total angle, 2 theta L is the aperture of the friction cone, where Theta L is the angle of friction, angle subtended by the result in N with the normal reaction R is the angle of friction or theta L. Hence, what we can say? 
angle of friction is the half the aperture of the friction cone half the aperture of the friction cone